Hey guys, what's going on? Joshua Elder here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna show you how to pick the right product. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, okay, what product do I pick? There's so many affiliate networks, there's so many offers out there. Which offers are gonna be saturated? If they are saturated, how do I position myself to promote them and make money from them? And how do I also get access to exclusive offers, which you'll learn at the end of this video if you stick around. So without further ado, if you're looking forward to this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to the channel, because on this channel, we teach you how to build a life and business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. So tick that bell icon to be notified of all future videos that I upload when I upload them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the computer and show you the right way to pick a product. The first thing that you wanna do is you want to, number one, pick an affiliate network. An affiliate network houses multiple products that you can choose from. So as an affiliate marketer, you want many different options with many different products that you can choose from. So the first affiliate network that we're gonna go ahead and check out is ClickBank. This is one of the most well-known, if not the most well-known uh, affiliate marketplace out there because they do offer both physical and digital products, but about 99% of the inventory is digital products. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to clickbank.com. You can select create an account that is free to create an account. And then once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to log in. Once you log in, you're gonna to come to a page that looks like this. It shows your username, shows your weekly snapshot right here, and then your daily snapshot right here. What we wanna to do to find products is we wanna go up here to the marketplace. And then we have just a list of a ton of different categories and products that we can choose from. So you really wanna select a product, number one, that you're somewhat uh, interested in, not exactly something that you know, you know a whole lot about. Because what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be documenting the building of your business and, and sort of use that product as leverage to earn while you learn. And I've talked about that you know, within other videos. But essentially what we wanna do is we wanna select a category here. So let's just select health and fitness. And you've got tons of different opportunities of different products right here. If you click on one of the products, it's gonna lead you straight to the sales page. And a sales page is just simply a page that directs people to the checkout form. And it's just exactly what it says. The idea is to sell people on the product or service or you know the opportunity. So typically sales videos, sales pages, they, they take about you know 15 to all the way up to about an hour to read or watch. And it really just entices somebody to take the next step. So what we can do to determine how well a product actually sells so we're not wasting our time is we wanna look at the gravity score. And the gravity score is right here for this given product. What this means is either 260 different affiliates are making sales with this product on a weekly or a monthly basis. It could also mean that one affiliate is making 260 sales per week or per month. So we can use this to kind of gauge how well a product is selling. Typically a product that's at least over 20 gravity is gonna be something that would be you know, worth it going out there and testing in the marketplace. I used to say at least a gravity score of 50, but what I've also realized is when I tell people to go for a gravity score of 50, I get tons of people that saturate the market trying to promote products that have a gravity score of 50 or above. So if you go for something that has a little bit lower gravity, but you still know it somewhat sells, there's gonna be less saturation and more of an opportunity for you to promote that product. And then you can go to the affiliate page right here to gather more information and promotional material on how to more effectively promote the product. So this one pays out $38.84 per sell. The average sell amount is 75% commission. And what you'll do is you'll just simply select the promote button and then you can just enter your account nickname right here, generate your unique affiliate link. And this is the, the unique affiliate link that you would go out there, of course, and, and then promote like on social media, email advertising, on a blog, on a YouTube video, so on and so forth. So that's the first affiliate network. And then of course you have affiliate networks like JVZoo. Of course, getting access to the promotional material and the affiliate links is different with each and every one of these affiliate networks. But I wanna just give you an idea of how to kind of get things set up in the beginning. So with JVZoo, JVZoo is much like ClickBank. It's mostly digital products in here. 
Um, and then you have Commission Junction. Commission Junction has a huge wide array of different products and services and you know opportunities that you can promote. So you really want to pick a number of affiliate networks. I would recommend starting out with about four or five affiliate networks. Get to know the back office of the networks. Get to know you know how to access your affiliate links and the type of products that they provide. And then you have networks of affiliate networks. So Offer Vault is a great tool to use to find affiliate networks and also find different offers within those affiliate networks. So this is kind of like a search engine for affiliate networks and for specific affiliate offers. So you can see down here, you got the offer name, you have the payout, you have the type, does it pay per sell or per lead? The difference between the two here is you have to simply make a sell right here. Somebody has to enter in their credit card information with a lead. All they got to do is enter in some personal information, not their credit card, whether it be a name, an email address, physical address, so as long as they complete the form and press submit, for example, in this offer, you'll get 80 cents, no credit card required at all. So what they'll do is they will pay you for giving them a lead and then they turn that lead into a sell on the back end. So you can obviously see that there's so many different products to promote. There's so many different affiliate networks, but the reality is what would be the quickest path to success and how do we actually go out there and promote these offers the right way. And so what I wanna do is I wanna jump over to my little virtual whiteboard here. And I wanna talk about a lot of the problems that people have when it comes to promoting offers that are so widely available. So the fact that you can just go on ClickBank and sign up for free or JVZoo and sign up for free, even Commission Junction, is that there's a lot of affiliates trying to promote the same thing the same way. Remember when I showed you that you can go over here and you could find the JV affiliate tools? Well, it's great and everything. For example, this Alpha Nation will provide you with a bunch of affiliate resources, but then you have everybody getting access to the same affiliate resources. So what you gotta do is use these resources and even use some of your resources that you created and integrate them together to create your own unique offer. And that is the idea, is to disguise the offer more on the back end and then change the branding a little bit on the front end so the offer looks new and fresh to the audience. So then you're actually completely separating yourself from the marketplace. You're not promoting like how other people are promoting, the masses. And so let's talk about the wrong way and the right way to market any given affiliate offer out there. So number one, in most cases, you do not want to just send people directly from whatever traffic source you're using. It could be email, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, a blog, directly to the affiliate offer because that's what most people are doing. What you want to be doing is taking your traffic and then sending it to an opt-in page. And an opt-in page is just simply a page where you can capture names and email addresses. Because if you're putting all the hard work up front, you might as well capture the lead so the affiliate offer isn't capturing the lead. So you're just giving them all of your hard work. So what you want to do is you want to put this opt-in form into play and it looks something like this. So here's an example of one of my offers. So what I'm doing is I'm giving away something for free in exchange for an email address. So when somebody fills out their name and email, they go to the next step. I now have their email saved into what's called an autoresponder. So then I can follow up with them and build a relationship because chances are you send people straight to your offer. They're not going to buy on the first time anyways, because it takes at least six to seven exposures before they make a buying decision. So we send them from the opt-in page to what's called a pre-sell page. And a pre-sell page just simply introduces yourself, talks about your story, what life was like before you came in contact with the product that you're promoting, and then what happened during and what life is like after. So you need to be a testimonial of whatever product you're promoting. So then you have that social proof and it's just gonna help you increase your conversions that much more. And then what you would do is of course, talking about the results that you had with that product, lead people to the actual offer. So that is the right way to do it, especially if you're promoting something that's between $1 all the way up to $297. Now, if you wanna promote something that's 297 all the way up to $10,000 or more, 
All you need to do is add this little extra piece. So you can make a lot more commissions by doing the same amount of work just by adding this little piece on the end. So you take the traffic, again, you send it to an opt-in page, then a pre-sell or a bridge page, and then you send them to a pre-qualification process where you would get them on the phone, you would get them maybe through Facebook Messenger, you would ask them some qualification questions, and yes, this requires some skills, but not necessarily, you don't have to be a great salesperson, you just have to have the right script. And then after you do that, you have that conversation, you pre-qualify them, you make sure they're a good fit for the offer, then you can send them straight to the offer. And because I've been doing this, and by doing this so effectively, you can actually see just yesterday, following the same exact process, I was able to bring in $3,797 into my business, just adding this one little extra piece on the back end. So at the end of the day, if you have an exclusive offer, if you have access to the right traffic sources and you have access to the right funnel, the right sell sequence, then you have a full system set up for success. So if you want access to an exclusive offer and you want access to this proven sales funnel right here, you want me to give you the offer, give you the proven sales funnel that's worked for me, give you all the emails, give you all the marketing assets, the traffic resources, go ahead and click the link below, check out my full case study video, and we will see if you are a good fit. I hope you got value from this video. If you did, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to the channel. This is Josh Elder signing off, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.